day grade 11s. Welcome to this next lesson in analytical geometry. In the last lesson we looked at how to find the angle of inclination, in other words the angle that a straight line made with the gradient. And today we're going to use that knowledge to work out the angle between two lines. So let's get started straight away. First of all it says determine the acute angle between the line passing through the points P minus 2 half and Q 0 2 and the line passing through the points 0 1 0 and D minus 2 6. So I think first of all let's start by plotting P and Q. So P is minus 2 a half so it's about over there and Q is 0 2 which is over there and then we're going to join the dots just so that we're going to get an idea of what we're doing. Now remember grade 11 is what I said, you guys are going to use a ruler so your lines are not going to look squiggly like mine. And then what we're going to do is we're now going to plot the points of A, 1, 0. So A is X is 1, Y is 0 so it's over here and D is minus 2, 6, minus 2, 6. So it's minus 2 and then it goes across to 6 and then we're going to join these dots as well. There we go. So therefore we want the angle between the line AD and the line PQ and they say they want the acute angle between that. So let me just change color so we can see what angle we're looking at. They want the acute angle so if we look at that, do you see that this looks obtuse? Acute means less than 90 degrees. So it looks from this diagram that we're aiming for that angle there, which is why we draw these things so that we can see what we're aiming for. Okay, now if you go back, I'm just going to keep changing colors so that you can see what I'm talking about. If we go look back to the line PQ, do you see that we this year makes a triangle? That there makes a beautiful triangle. Okay, and we've been taught that tan theta equals m. So if I have the gradient of this line, I can get that angle there, the angle it makes with the horizontal. And similarly, if I look at the green line, if I look at line AD, I can see that using tan theta, and if I've got the gradient of AD, I can get that line, that, that angle there, the angle it makes with the horizontal. And then we're going to use this theory. This theory that says the interior, the sum of the two interior angles is equal to the exterior angle. So in other words, the little red angle, which is the angle of inclination of the red line, plus the little green angle, which is the angle of inclination of the green line, is going to equal my purple angle, which is the acute angle that they're asking us to find. So since I've got green on the pen, let's start with the green line, which is line AD. And what we're going to do is, if you look at this equation, we've got tan theta equals m. So I don't need the whole equation of this line, I just need its gradient. I just need its gradient. So we're going to go, okay fine, m of AD is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I'm going to call d 0.2 for this line. So therefore this is going to be x1, x2 and this is going to be y2 and this is going to be x1 and this is going to be y1. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just substitute these two points, these two points, into this equation. So let's do that. So it's going to be 6 minus 0 over minus 2 minus 1. Okay, which gives us 6 over negative 3, which is a negative 2. So that's quite nice because therefore we can see that this is obviously a negative line, so therefore we know that that's the gradient. Now we know that tan theta is equal to m, so we want the angle of inclination, so we're going to basically write where tan theta is equal to negative 2 and we're going to whip out our calculator, make sure it's in degrees and then we're going to go shift tan bracket of negative 2 bracket 
and that gives us minus 63.43. Remember I told you in the last lesson you can ignore the negative because that just tells you which quadrant this is in, but the size of the angle is 63.43. In other words, the size of this little green angle here is equal to theta is equal to 63.43 degrees. Right, now let's do the red lines angle. So we've got tan theta weight is equal to m but before we do that we need to go m of pq is equal to and again I'm going to call this x2 and this y2 and I'm going to call this x1 and this y1 so we're going to say it's 2 minus a half over 0 minus minus 2 please be careful of that negative in the brackets over there so that gives us one and a half divided by two one and a half is three over two so that becomes three over two what do we do when we divide we tip in time so it's times by one over two which is three over four so now we're just going to substitute that into this equation so we've got tan theta is equal to 3 over 4 and we're going to again whip out our calculator and we're going to say okay fine we've got shift tan bracket 3 divided by 4 bracket equals and this time this is 36.87 degrees 36.87 degrees so theta is equal to 36. 8, 7 degrees. So now do you remember that what did we say? We said that the purple angle which is the angle actually but now if we look at that yeah it looks like it's less than okay we'll see now the purple angle is the sum of the two so therefore theta the purple angle is going to be equal to 63.43 plus 36.87 and we're again going to whip out our calculator and we're going to add those two so we're going to say okay fine it is 63.43 plus 36.87 and that actually is 100 degrees so amazingly enough even though my diagram doesn't look like it that is 100 degrees but they didn't want the angle they wanted the acute angle so if we find that the angle we've worked out is bigger than 100 degrees what do we need to do we just need to subtract that from 180 therefore the acute angle the acute angle equals 180 degrees minus 100 degrees which is just 80 degrees see that's not so bad hey so let's have a look at another example this time they give us the equation of the lines. They say determine the angle between the line y is equal to x plus I mean y plus x equals 3 and x is equal to y plus 2. So the first thing we need to do is rearrange this into the subject so that y is the subject of the formula. So the first equation you've got is y plus x equals 3. Therefore we've got y is equal to minus x plus 3. And if I plot that, 1, 2, 3, and it's a negative, and it's got a gradient to 1, so it's 1, 2, 3, and then it goes through like this. Okay, right. And let me change color for the next line. Mm, yeah. Let's go for this line here, which is x is equal to y plus 2. So this one is x is equal to y plus 2. So if I make this the subject of the formula, you've got y is equal to basically x minus 2. So this time this goes through minus 2 and it has a gradient of 1. So therefore it's going to go like this. And again, we want the acute, the angle between them. So again, I know this little angle here is tight but that's what we're going to be looking at we're going to be looking at that tiny triangle there and finding the angle of inclination with the, of, of the blue line with um, the x-axis and then the angle of inclination 
of the purple line with the x-axis and then using that to find the angle between them. So let's do that straight away. First of all, let's do, since I've got the blue pen out, let's look at this. So the gradient of this is just 1, okay, which is nice and easy. So we've got tan theta is equal to 1. Therefore, theta is going to be, I'm hoping you know this already, but let me show you in the calculator. Shift tan of 1 is just going to be 45 degrees. Therefore, theta is 45 degrees. Therefore, the angle that this line here is making with the horizontal is 45 degrees. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw it slightly bigger up here so that you can see what we're doing because that is ridiculously small. So, this is the x-axis and this is point 2 and that is point 3. We have the blue line coming through like this and it is making an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal and then we've got the purple line coming through from the 3 and now we are going to find this angle here. So again we're just going to use tan theta because tan theta is equal to in this case negative 1. So if we pop out our calculator and we go shift tan of negative 1 we get negative 45. So the size of the angle is 45 degrees. Remember I told you to ignore the minus because it's just telling you which quadrant. So that angle there is 45 degrees. So therefore theta equals 45 degrees. So then grade 11's it is pretty obvious that what do we have? We've got a 45 and a 45 which makes up 90. Therefore what is this angle? What is this angle here? Let me change the color so you can see what I'm doing. What is this angle here between these two lines? And it's obviously 90 degrees. These lines are perpendicular to each other. So the angle between the angle between these lines, these lines equals 90 degrees. Now we should have realized that actually because the gradient of this was minus 1. The purple line's gradient was minus 1 and the blue line's gradient was 1. Okay, so and what do we know about lines that are perpendicular? So if we multiply this, do you agree we would have gotten minus 1? But we know that if we take the gradient of the first line and we take the gradient of the second line and it equals minus 1, we know that those lines are perpendicular. So you could have seen that straight away, but even if you did, if they ask you to determine the equation, I mean the angle between the line, and it's for several marks, don't just write oh, it's perpendicular, it's 90 degrees, you need to show you're working because a lot of math is explaining and showing that you actually know what you're doing. Right, grade 11, so that's how you work out the angle between lines. Please practice and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.